Hello and welcome everybody to another game of Online Scythe. My name is Joy Division and today I'm going to be playing Polania Industrial. So the industrial board is pretty interesting with a faction like Polania. You get to take advantage of their ability Meander, which lets you pick two options out of three on every encounter that you get. So Meander can actually be pretty powerful and allow you to snowball into a very fast rush game compared to other factions. With the industrial board specifically, the best thing we have going for us is that we can produce to deploy a mech. So we can finish our workers and our mechs in the same action. We're looking at our first encounter. This is pretty important to our game. We have a couple options that aren't too attractive to us. So oil is not something we need. Um, we also don't really care about the enlistment. We'd love to see some iron or a building because we want to get out to the map as fast as we can. The biggest weakness of being Plania is that you're stuck without iron or a way to leave your base unless you do a lot of trading. So I'm not able to find the metal I need through this encounter. I'm going to have to go with option two. I'm just deciding if the enlistment would be worth it or not. Popularity is something I want to hold on to because sometimes there are some very, very attractive options on encounters, but they cost popularity. So going to zero pop would be a bad move. I'll be taking the two oil and just use it to upgrade once. This is going to help me build some mechs um, and move more units. So it's not a total wash, but I would have loved to see more metal or the ability to build a mine. Because with the industrial board, you're probably going to be going for stars as follows. You get workers, four mechs, and then most likely buildings. You're probably going to make four buildings. If you don't make four buildings, you found something off an encounter and you just ran with that. So like enlistments, for example, would be a star you could get if you happen to find them. You will almost never, ever get six upgrades. And if you do, the game's been going really long which is not your, your plan. Your plan is to finish fast here. So with Submerge, with Speed, and with a Factory card, we want to make this game end sooner rather than later. My opponents in this game are Albion, Nordic, and Crimea. Albion and Nordic are likely going to take a while to get to the board, so I do want to keep my eye on what Crimea is up to. If you look at my objectives, in the top left. I'm kind of planning my mid game around those. So I need to complete one of those to finish the game. I have divide and conquer, which is normally an amazing objective to have, but with Polania, it's it's somewhat of a hindrance because I want to get to the factory as soon as possible, and divide and conquer slows me down a full round of moving. So instead of stepping on the factory with my main character, I have to wait and occupy two nearby territories without having a factory card. So that would be an easy one to complete, but it would ultimately hurt my gameplay. Stockpile for the winter, on the other hand, is a terrible objective, and you should probably never do this. However, knowing the decisions I like to make and my attitude towards risk, I think I'm probably gonna go for stockpile here because I just want that factory card ASAP don't want to deal with Crimea being out all over the place, and I don't want to deal with being behind the ball on picking up encounters. So I'm building my second mech next turn, and I'll be finishing my worker star next turn. Um, when we look at the other players and what they're kind of up to right now, Nordic has put their workers, they have a 3-2 three, uh, three split on the village and the food. They also built a speed mech. So, as militant, you want to get a lot of metal. I'm assuming they're going to finish their workers off and then move everything towards the metal so that they can get a good supply of that and then continue to move. Crimea, on the other hand, is doing an interesting split of, of workers. They have 4-1, and I think they've upgraded at least once. Yeah, so it looks like they upgraded deploy. Uh, that would explain the 4-1. Okay, so Crimea Engineering, I typically don't see a five worker approach, but it's definitely viable. All right, there's our submerged mech. That's all we need now to get to the factory. Oh yeah, talk about Albion. Albion 
is all the way up north. They're on food and they're on village. They're enlisting. We're gonna see like a lot of coins from Albion and they'll probably have a pretty high score, but for the most part, they should be contained to their home base. They don't really have a way to build mechs right now and they'll need mechs to cover more ground. So I think we're safe from our neighbors up north and we have to make sure we occupy that oil tunnel if we want to stop Crimea from coming out. But depending on the card we get and the encounters we pick up, we maybe won't even care about that. So this is the moment here where I seal my fate. Is it stockpile or is it divide and conquer? I'm going to go for stockpile. So hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me. But my plan right now is to keep the ball rolling in the speed uh, category here. and make uh, myself commit to an objective that's a little more difficult. So to help myself get the stockpile, I'm going to put all of my workers on the iron tunnel. The iron tunnel is safe right now. Nobody can really get there. So I'm going to be able to produce a lot of metal and have the added bonus of finishing off my mechs. My, my factory cards are interesting. They don't help me get a six star unless I pick the two resources for a building one. So I think that's what I'm going to go with because I can move to build and I can factory card to build. So I can get that star done very quickly if I have the resources available. Um, the added bonus of having stockpile is it makes the two for one uh, actually good. So usually those cards are bad because you don't really want to play um, like a strategy in Scythe that gives you a lot of excess resources is just not very efficient. So usually don't have extra resources lying around in the first place to make use of a card like that. With Polania, picking up encounters, you never know what you're going to find. And then having stockpile as an objective, it actually makes it, uh, you know, useful. So I, I will probably have a lot of extra stuff on my hands. Okay, scanning the board here. Crimea just produced, and I know they're going to have a mech coming out. They now have access to the tunnels, which means they can fight me where all of my workers are built up there with speed riverwalk combo. The good news is that they have a decent amount of popularity. I think they have three popularity, so they maybe won't go for it. And the even better news is I get to reinforce this territory with an extra mech. So they would have to commit a lot of resources to taking me down if they wanted to attack that spot and I could move back to it if I were to lose a fight there. They don't have scouts so it's less of a threat than it could be. Um, we have now Nordic with the worker star but still not enough metal to be threatening from an economy standpoint. We have Albion spreading out to get some metal of his own, but no mechs yet on the board for him. And really, the only person we're, we're scared of at the short term is Crimea because they're one mech away from really terrorizing us all over the board, specifically if they decide to play a zero pop game, which would be um, definitely like a scary situation there. Nordic getting their first encounter. Um, we could have taken that from them, but it was better just to build the, the mech there and get the six metal left over so that we can move around the board and be on our way to finishing stockpile. Um, stockpile is pretty annoying because you have to have one of each type of resource. So despite me having seven right now, I can't just add two more to finish. I need to add one wood and one food in this case to qualify for stockpile um, and I have to do it on one single territory which isn't a problem but it's a lot of a lot of constraints just to get an objective and when you compare it to other things like foundations of the empire or even monopolize the market it just doesn't seem fair that's what we're going to do though. So crime is spread out now. I don't like what they did with their position here. They're really vulnerable and they kind of need some specific resources. So we will potentially be throwing a wrench in their game plan here. Um, if they produce some wood, we are going to move on to it because one, that helps us build a building and two, 
they really need that wood because they're engineering and they don't have a way to get six stars without committing to something like buildings or power. All right, so we can finish stockpile right now by trading for the wood and the food. So we get that objective finished and off our hands. I think that was the right move there because Crimea just moved. That means they're not gonna be able to attack us on this upcoming turn. So if we trade now, we'll be able to escape with all of our resources um, safe. Having nine resources on one tile like this is incredibly attractive to anyone, no matter what game they're playing, because uh, that can really change several upcoming turns for you if you were to just stumble upon nine resources and a, a victory star for combat. Um, so we'll be moving immediately when it's our turn. Nordic has produced to build, so we won't be able to take advantage of him being on that lumber tile like we would with Crimea here. Okay, Crimea produces. So hey, if we take this wood right now, that's a building. Um, that's probably not what I'm gonna do right now because I, I need to like spread out and secure some territory first. But if they get comfortable doing what they just did, I'm absolutely gonna target that space for a combat in the near future. Okay, time to go. Um, we're gonna use our factory card and that's gonna finish our mechs off, which is awesome because now we don't have to pay the steep cost of producing with eight workers. So I can just get rid of two resources here. I need to pick metal because I have six of it and I don't need it anymore. Um, and now I'm able to go grab an encounter. I know I talked about, ooh, I actually don't need metal, so I'm not gonna pick that at all. I know I talked about wanting to like move off that mine and protect my resources, but having three mechs on one space is almost just as good. Um, so I'll have to lean on that advantage slightly longer and hope that nobody challenges me. Albion with their first mech. Nordic with an enlistment. Yeah, people's economies are really starting to turn their wheels now, so that's a bit scary. Um, we're never going to have like a ton of coins. It's just not the game plan here. Um, but we will cover a bunch of territory and hopefully that's enough to stall someone who is trying to look for fights and collect stars that would uh, put us out of the running for first place. So we kind of need to make a move now on that wood. We can build a building by moving. That's exactly what we want to do. I'm going to use my workers to kind of block um, or create like a, an exit path for me that's protected. So this tunnel is going to be blocked and then I'm going to dive onto the wood right there. So as long as I win the fight, um, the encounter space on the iron over here to the right is going to be safe because it's going to take someone two moves to get to there. And for that reason, I can like stockpile the rest of my resources on it. Um, unfortunately though, if I lose this fight, I'm kind of screwed. So it's a must win. My heart tells me to go four. I know like that's what I would play, but because of the stakes here, I think I just can't take any risks. So I'm gonna have to probably throw some more. Um, that's gonna mean like spending power and spending my four card to get all the way up to eight. And uh, I know I don't want to do it, but again, the alternative is just not, you can't recover from that. Um, obviously if, Crimea was to spend nine or 10. That would be the absolute worst case scenario. But I need to protect this encounter space with all my resources on it. Oh man, the four would have won it. I could have just gotten away with two, two cards. That would have been sweet. Okay, so we get the wood, we build a building. We also get kind of nothing. I need wood, so I'm gonna take option three, even though I don't think it's worth it. Um, 
So this way, we just built a building on our move and we can turn around to factory card to build another building. So that's two buildings, two turns. And we could potentially chain that together to finish out this game. We need one more fight and we need two more buildings. So we can accomplish both of those realistically in two turns. So that's the strength of Polania with the industrial board is you were, you're able to use your factory card and use your uh, move to build and your produce to deploy to put together a really good rush game. Now, will your score be high enough? Maybe not. We have Crimea here sitting on the factory. However, they don't have a lot of coins. We have Militant Nordic, which will make a lot of coins once they start deploying more. They haven't really deployed much, so we're not worried about them. However, we do have Albion up top and they've been doing actions that really support economy. You can tell because they have 25 coins right now. So they have twice as many coins as us. The good news for us is that they don't have a lot of territory. So we don't want this game to go much longer, but we feel good about where we are so far. Um, it's time to use that factory card. When you think about what buildings to build, it actually doesn't matter. Um, you're not going to be doing anything besides moving around with this setup. So the, I guess the only thing you have to consider here is where you put them. And in general, like just always make sure you have a place to put your building. So right now I have three territories with workers and only one of those territories doesn't have a building on it already. This encounter is really nice for me. I get the final uh, amount of lumber I need to build a building. So I have the three that I need for the move and I have some extra resources to fuel my factory card. Um, what I was saying though is like the building bonus would be nice if it works out but it's just more important to be able to build. You'd hate to waste a turn having the resources required but not having the space to do it. Um, I'm probably gonna get like sent home here. I'd be surprised if nobody fights me. Okay, there's the fight. Because I have zero power and I also have like two cards. Um, okay, so luckily they don't have scout. I'd be absolutely screwed if they had scout. I'm still gonna lose both these fights, but at least I'll have some cards left over when all is said and done. This is um, not a terrible thing for me because one, it keeps Crimea at zero pop. They're going to send all my workers home. They're going to pay for that. And two, it helps me recycle my bad cards. So I had two cards. They were both twos. Hopefully when this is over, I'll have two cards that are not twos. And oh my goodness. Okay, so that was excellent. Crania respected our position and they threw um, some power. I don't know why they did that, but they did. So... Now they have two combat stars, but we have a low power opponent on the board. That was probably a big mistake, actually. They should not have spent power against us. Um, we needed one more combat star and it was going to be pretty tough to get, but now we have an easy opponent. Okay, time to move and build. Um, I'm going to make sure I spread out some workers here and go for that combat I talked about. I didn't pick up anything besides a three, so hopefully it's enough to, uh, hopefully Crimea doesn't have a five, basically. There's no encounter I can get, unfortunately, but I can move a worker around, I guess. That might be a better idea. Cover a tunnel, slow people down. Yeah, I'll just move a worker, and that way I'll guarantee to have a spot to build next turn. Okay. Hopefully I don't have a five. All right, we got him. So that was our fifth star and we'll be able to get that sixth star next turn. So the scary thing is we used our move action just now, which builds at the end of the turn. When you use the factory card, it builds a building at the start of your turn, which means you're gonna end the game before you have a chance to move that unit around with all those workers. So if I had done that in a different order, potentially, I could like spread out, cover the factory, and then build. That'd be very strong. 
But in this situation we're in, we have to decide that we're strong enough to end it right here, or we have to delay a full round to cover more territory. I think we're in a position where we can end it and be okay, but it's gonna be close. I actually am a little nervous. Um, we don't have that much territory. We also don't have a lot of coin, but we really can't survive future rounds of people knocking us about. So we'll see what Nordic ends up doing. They move. Okay, that's bad for us, but at least they're not sending our workers home. If they were to have stepped on the tunnels, for example, I'd be forced to continue the game a little longer. But I think this is gonna be just enough. See what Crimea does. Yeah, it's not the absolute fastest game for industrial, but it's fast enough. Um, the coins from Albion, though, are pretty scary. They have 30 coins, that's a ton. They also have two flags now. Oh gosh. Oh no, I'm being sent home. Okay, so minus one on territories than I thought. That means, oh man. I don't know, I think we have to go for it, but this is gonna be, I might get second, guys. This is close. Here's a building, there's six stars. Fingers crossed. Okay. So far so good, but man, that is tight. That nine building bonus really helps. So that cost a 40. Oh my gosh, we went on tiebreaker. Wow, so we were tied with Albion and coins. That is good game. Okay, Polani Industrial, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you all next time.